Haven't seen her in a couple weeks, I guess. Something, maybe. She's been a good little girl, though. But it's kind of sad because her condition is worsening. I'm not sure if she has that feline leukemia or whatever virus or uh, infection or worse. It's really sad though because she's a, a little sweetheart. I mean, if somebody would have tried to get her treatment for it, she'd be okay, but unless somehow her immune system beats it in the next few weeks, and I mean, like, by few weeks, I mean tomorrow, I'm not sure she's going to make a few more weeks, which is sad. She is a little cute girl. She, it's, it's obvious, she really just wants a home. However, I can't provide her with a home. I tried to. Nobody's interested, though. I'm sad that she came back. That they brought her back and she was sick, though. And I think that's why they brought her back. They didn't tell me that, though. At first, I thought it was allergies. But then it started lit lasting more than a few days and a week and then some and you know it became kind of obvious it was maybe a bit more than that which is sad as well as she had a bloody nose sometimes when she sneezed because she sneezes quite regularly Now her nose has been running nonstop. But you know, we'll see how it goes. You won't be surprised, but it's sad. Now I don't know. I don't know if whatever she caught, she caught from there. If, you know, she caught it on her own. They said they took her to get shots. I wonder if they, they took her in there to get figure out what was wrong with her, not get shots. And they told him, you know, it was dire, whatever it was. Or, you know, whatever. So it could have, that could have been why they brought it back and... Oh, well, we took a got shots, and we don't know how to take care of it is fair enough excuse, I guess. Kind of sad. Whatever, though. I'm wondering if they would have left it over here if it would have turned out fine. Because I know it was still mil milking. And that has kind of a role to play in 